Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you the very first general readings of a brand new year. This is for the first half of January 2023 from the 1st to the 15th of January and it is for the air sign of Libra. Welcome everyone. I hope you're all doing well and I hope everyone had a very lovely Christmas as we transition through New Year's and the start of a brand new year. I am recording these in the last couple of days of December. Thanks for taking the time to be here, to watch the videos, liking, sharing, subscribing. It is all greatly appreciated. So this is for Libra for the first half of January 2023. If your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign is in Libra, it's also relevant if you're cross-watching for a Libran. It'll resonate a little differently for everyone, of course. It's a general reading. But if you find that something resonates enough with you and you'd like to take a deeper look, reach out for a personal reading for yourself or as a gift for someone else, please feel free to email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. You can also get that contact info by clicking on the description link with this video. I'd be delighted to hear from you. I do offer quite a wide variety of readings in all areas of life. And particularly popular right now are the six and 12 month overviews that I do. Uh, which are spreads that look at a variety of different areas of your life for the next 6 or 12 months, depending on how far ahead you want to look, which a lot of people like to order as we end one year and begin a new one, although you can order them any time. But it's kind of helpful as we transition into a, a new cycle. So something to keep in mind. Okay, Libra. Let's move right into what the first half of January looks like for you. I am using the Tarot of Dreams and clarifying with the Radiant Rider weight. <laughs> Libra, we begin with a brand new journey. What a great way to start a new year. The Fool, the Zero. This is the very first major arcana cards. The whole Tarot is about the Fool's journey, which is us, right? Learning, growing, evolving, winning, losing, succeeding, failing, but always learning and evolving until we get to the end with the world card. And then we've graduated one cycle and we move on to start a whole new journey. But here, this is a new journey. Maybe stepping out of your comfort zone, taking a risk, trying something new. With the emperor, perhaps an Aries, could be a father or father figure. I don't pay a lot of attention to genders, specifically in general readings, because they could be male or female, depending on who's watching. But the emperor is pretty masculine energy. It's almost certainly a male energy if it represents a person. It could be a father, father figure, husband, boyfriend, somebody probably older, um, somebody with some seniority and status and decision-making ability or authority. You know, I mean, it could be a judge or a VIP CEO if it's not something a personal relationship. And this can represent your energy in the sense that the emperor is in control of a lot of things. There's a lot on their shoulders. Um, so they tend to be pretty controlled. Things They like things to go their way. <laughs> I actually feel like this is somebody relevant to you. I don't feel like this is you. But for some of you, it might be. Next, we have the Two of Cups, soulmates, kindred spirits, best friends. Could be love and romance or best friends or both. With the Two of Swords, although this is underneath. This is a card of being stuck. I don't want to look at something. I don't want to make a choice. I don't want to make a decision. I'm just kind of stuck here, but part of it is kind of a bit willing because they're reluctant or resistant to taking a stand or making a choice. And this is right next to the emperor. So it may be that for those of you that are in a relationship with somebody who is like the emperor, they may be taking a, a chance, stepping out of their comfort zone to do move forward in some way or vice versa. Next, we have judgment, a major life path crossroads. And what you choose here will probably be irreversible or at least difficult to reverse so there's an air of finality about judgment choose carefully it's about making a choice one way or the other if you choose to remain in whatever it is this situation is about that's probably just where you'll, you're you're going to be if you choose to do something different it puts you on a whole different path 
but there is a pretty sick there is a choice in front of you with judgment and the effects and consequences of that will be significant positive negative you know with the king of cups cancer pisces scorpio sun moon rising or venus showing up as a, as a king but it could be a female as well this is likely your person libra For some of you, it might be a third party situation and a choice needs to be made between two people. <coughs> Excuse me. From the bottom of the deck, the overall energy is the Knight of Wands. Fast movement. Knights represent offers or opportunities for change. The speed at which situations move. This is the Knight of Fire. So this is charging forward quite assertively even aggressively you know the knight of wands is really focused on their mission their quest so this is opportunity for change very fast moving so let's clarify that overall energy knight of wands <laughs> death changes transformations happening very quickly Two of Cups again. A relationship is either ending or transforming. Judgment here. Yeah, I think it's one way or the other. Oh, look, who's at the right after that? That King of Cups again. I, I think that there's this relationship is at a major, major crossroads. I don't think it can stay stuck. It's like, okay, either we move forward on this new path towards this new thing, could be like getting married or something like that, or we don't. But if we don't, I feel like it's, it's, it's ending, it's transformation either way, whether it's transformation through ending, splitting apart and starting a whole new chapter of life, or the relationship itself transforming and moving, moving forward together, like moving in with each other or getting married or something of that sort. Now, this could be in another, this whole reading could be in another area of life, but something which has a profound significant effects, effect on a primary relationship or friendship. Because I, I, I don't like to look at readings as just geared towards finances or just geared towards love, but this one is pretty strongly focused in kind of the love partnership connection here. Let's clarify the Fool with the Emperor. What's the Fool? Brand new journeys. What is that about? The star and the empress. Interesting. We have a couple here because the empress and the emperor are natural, natural mates, right? Renewed, restored hope, faith, and optimism. Rebuilding. There's hope and renewal for the rebuilding, perhaps, of a relationship. Feels like somebody has the optimism to move forward, step out of their comfort zone and do the thing they didn't want to do before, were really afraid of doing before. Emperor. The Seven of Swords and the Ten of Wands. <laughs> Giving up, letting it down, letting go of the burden, letting go of whatever it is they've been carrying around, probably with the Seven of Swords because it's a card of concealment, not, not talking about it. <laughs> the Emperor probably wouldn't. You know, it may be somebody who has a lot of pride or, you know, isn't very accustomed to talking about their deepest feelings and... You know, they may have been going through this like transformative period and now they're willing to do what before they were too afraid to do, but they don't really want to spend much time talking about the process of what they went through, right? Two of Cups. The Fool. The Knight of Swords, the Infer. This is like our conversation night. He's kind of like the mailman conversation bringer. So here, this is a conversation about starting a new journey, starting a new path. Clarify the Two of Swords.
the two of pentacles the five of wands this is fighting over and over and over somebody being stuck or the relationship being stuck this partnership being stuck and fighting endlessly or having this endless conflict meaning you know every time it comes up it just goes around and around in the same circles about where is this going you know maybe one person wanting to move forward the other person not clarified judgment the knight of wands this is happening pretty quickly because the overall energy is the knight of wands and one of the clarifying cards is judgment and the judgment card over here the first clarifying card is also knight of wands so this is happening quite quickly the ten of cups reunions the happy home card the happily ever after card completion marriage home harmony like it's moving forward very quickly this is like somebody who was like really opposed i mean for an example somebody who was really opposed to marriage for a long long time but once they finally decided okay i'm gonna i'm gonna try this one more time i'm gonna get out of my comfort zone i'm gonna take the chance i'm gonna risk that i'm gonna risk it again it's like they can't do it quick enough now right clarified king of cups page of pentacles working together teamwork collaboration the six of swords healing moving slowly but surely away from the source of all the conflict and trouble and struggle and the seven of pentacles taking a look at what you have invested in yourself and asking yourself how can i grow it can i i mean this is a general reading, so it's not going to mean exactly the same thing for everyone, although the energy fundamentally remains the same. It feels very much like there is a relationship here that is at a really significant crossroad, and the decision that, that the decisions that are made during this time will probably be lasting, meaning if you decide to move forward together in this relationship, then that's the path you go on. If you decide not to, I feel like this relationship or partnership, whether it's romantic or otherwise, will end because it it can't be compatible you can't have one person staying stagnant and the other person not so let's end with pulling some advice guidance feedback cards for libra the sun <laughs> enjoying your best life letting it go letting the pressure be lifted off ace of pentacles new beginnings moving relocating new jobs the page of wands also represents being at the beginning of a new phase so so even if the decision is primarily dependent on the other person libra like for example you're in a relationship and you're like look we've been together for years or whatever and if we're, if we're not going to move in together we're not going to get married i need to move on into another direction so either way you're either moving forward with this person or you're moving forward without this person because it's quite clear that spirit wants you to move forward that's where you're going to get relief and lightness and that uplifting of previously restrictive energies and feeling very whole and healed again okay libra those are your messages for the first half of january 2023 i hope that you enjoyed them found them helpful useful or gave you some food for thought again if you would like to reach out for a personal reading maybe take a deeper look at something if it resonated with you for yourself or as a gift for someone else feel free to email me directly at maggie the number one mcguire at gmail.com i would be delighted to hear from you don't forget about those six and twelve month overviews which are so useful as we end one year and move into a new year I will see you all in a couple of weeks for the mid-month readings. Until then, stay safe and well, and I hope to see you back here again soon.